Thanks for joining us, Dale. It's uh, unprecedented times are going together. I mean, obviously, you've had a look at it from your angle as a manager to get the players. I mean, you were preparing for the game the weekend, didn't happen, everything. Um, how do you go about this now in terms of, because we hope, and I'm touching wood, I think we will have a go tomorrow. How have you prepared the boys? Yeah, you, you just have to adapt. I was, I was uh, you know, really gutted, you know, very patriotic guys who really guttering here about the Queen, but we was we was disappointed. You know, the Queen liked the football. I think the game should have gone ahead on a personal note. We'd, we'd done a lot of preparation, a lot of work for the game. We'd have loved to have paid our respects at the game as well, but it wasn't to be, so we have to adapt and move on to the next game. And that's what you've done, of course. You've had the players in, I believe, over the weekend, or certainly they're in readiness, because it's a quick turnaround, and you would have had the quick turnaround anyhow, so uh, the players are really ready for it, and, and fit done it in many yeah. ways. Yeah, listen, the, the, the players have worked hard over the weekend. We've got to prepare right for the next game. We, we got a decision quite late on the, on the Friday morning, no different to, to every other team, so we just adapted to that. We, we found the news out when we were training. We've done all our prep work for Wickham away, but hey, that's, that's football, and we, we're going to Barnsley now. Looking at Barnsley, of course, they've been one of the things that people look and think with the squad they've got, the new manager coming in as well, you know all about him as well, Michael Duff, you've come across him in many ways. Will he have changed the system in many ways at Barnsley, Dale? They're adaptable at, at times, like to play with a back three, back five, and they can be uh, two up top, one in the ten, or they can be a three, four, three with, with different variations of it, so they've had a, they've had a decent enough start. Um, Michael Duff's done great, done a fantastic job at Cheltenham and he looks like he's carrying on the good work at Barnsley, so uh, he's, a, he's a good lad. Look forward to having a drink with him after the game, but we'll be going there for the points. He certainly will, and you were very, very disappointed. We know all about it the other weekend, uh, in many ways, Darrell, but have you got over that? Are you ready yeah, to go? Yeah, I, I have. I have uh, the thing is for me is, is that I'm, I'm never going to hide that. It's hard when you get microphone put on you, but I'm not going to change how I am as a guy. After the game, I was angry. There was, was a lot of emotion. I didn't think we certainly shown what we can do. It was a frustrating game. It was two points chucked in the bin. I was frustrated on, on quite a few aspects on that. And uh, But we moved forward from that. We, we, we debriefed it. We did the game. We did the overview. I give them my feelings again of where we need to get better at in the, in the mindset and on, on, on a technical level. Be better with the ball and be braver with the ball. And make sure that we... Uh, in those sort of games, we're not we're not dr dropping what I class as very very silly points. Because we've seen how good the team can be, but in spasms in many ways, Dale, in all of the games, we haven't seen that consistency yet. Have we? No, Which you know you want, we want, the players want, the we, fans want. We all want, but it, that ain't going to happen. It'll happen over a period of time. Uh, I think uh, that's what you build. I've got massive faith in myself and my coaching staff to build that to to work to work towards consistency. But it's. It's not rocket science now, to be honest with you. It's about players getting to play with each other, getting the cohesion, getting the work on the training ground. And everybody thinks that that's going to happen like that. It doesn't, unfortunately. A lot of the time, it takes a little bit of time to get going, get flowing. Um, the league's very, very, very tight anyway. And uh, it's our first year in the league, the league one for what, the last five, six years. So we, we'll, we'll adjust along that, but we'll keep get, trying to get stronger and stronger and stronger because that's the. That's the question marks getting asked about uh, myself, my, my staff and the players to make sure that they do and we keep moving it forward which we're, we're quite, quite, how can I put it, satisfied that that's what we'll be. Do you think you're getting the continuity close to what you want to be? Um, is it 80%, 60%? How would you look at that I side of it? I think it adapts all the time. I think if you look last year and the first few months of last year, and I don't like going back too much, but we, we were scoring goals. I think we were in the top five goals scored in the country, and then two, three injuries. <laughs> we have to change things. So you never know what's around the corner in this game. You really don't. What I do know is, is now that I've got good options in the, in the building, I've got good options to be able to be flexible and to change and, and, and to adapt. I think the use of five subs uh, with uh, with players coming in like like your Dennis politics and whatnot and, and players that can now make a real good positive impact whether they're starting the game or on the bench. So there's uh, there's a bit of fluidity amongst the squad and and then we build from there. How is Dennis? Is he likely to figure? I mean, I'm, you don't tell us an awful lot. Like, no, Dennis will be in the squad. He's he's he's, he's fit. He hasn't played much match match minutes match time, but he's certainly been in the squad because. Uh, Brought him back to the club because we know he can change games. We know he's a scoring threat, and we we know he's more than capable when he's starting games. So we've just got to build his match minutes up. The fact that you had a break, the game is that 
in help hence enhance the, the injury situation in terms of the players that might be available. Though. Yeah, it, it does. It gives a, a few more extra uh, players some plum extra minutes in training. But you, you know me, George. I don't really like saying a lot on injuries. It's uh, I know that becomes a big frustration for for a lot of people. But it's not. I don't do it to be facetious. I do it because I don't want to give the other team's manager a heads up of who might be available, who not be available. I'm, I'm, I've, I've always said this. I'm happy to say after the game that. They missed the game, whether it was for an injury or, or whatever reason. But before then, I'll, I'll try and keep my cards close to my chest. Finally for me, though, you have to look at it perspectively and you have to compare your team that we are going to be playing, but we don't really know until midweek or maybe 48 hours whether we will be playing this weekend. How do you work that out? Do you have to just say, right, day by day, this is what we're going to do, as you would be a normal week then, Daryl? Listen, what... One of my frustrations is, and I get things, is is knowing early enough. You know, people would uh, book their tickets or hotel accommodation to go to Wickham. Does, does this make sense? So, what we have to appreciate, or the governing bodies, and, and uh, have to appreciate, is, is that the earlier you make decisions, the better it is for everybody. And that's all we ask for. And uh, yes, it was obviously sudden, and, uh, and you know, there's a but we all now know there's a there's a funeral happening on Monday, so. Are the games going ahead or not? Let's get it. Let's get the decision early enough so that everybody can plan ahead and people aren't wasting the hard-earned money. Thank you, Don. Cheers, Don. We just spoke to Ben Garrity. Can you tell us about the job you feel he's done for the team? Because he's, he's obviously played up front, you know, when you've needed him to. Just tell us a bit, a bit about that. Ben's been uh, Ben epitomises everything I like about football. I must I must admit, uh, we're going to get him better. But he's so hungry to get better, and he, he he's filled in. He's probably been a bit detrimental to one or two of his performances, to be honest with you. But I can't thank the kid enough. We were short on centre forwards early part of the season. He plays the he plays the ten option very well as a running running attacking eight out or a ten, and uh, we know what his strengths are. And he's a, he's a great kid, and we he's one we want to keep growing. Now the deadline's over, and you've got a, a sort of bigger squad together. I'm thinking about Tommy McDermott. So would you look to loan him out, or would you see him sort of keeping? No, I'm going to keep Tommy at least until the new year. You're playing the trophy games. I've been absolutely delighted with him. He's got, I think he's going to be a special talent, and I don't say that lightly. He's got a lovely left foot. He, he trains with the first team all the time now. He's he's with us, and uh, we'll we'll reassess that potentially in the new year. But we want to we want to do plenty of work on him before we contemplate loaning him out. And if we do loan him out. It'd have to be at the right club because, is uh, like I said, he has to be playing in a in a certain position in a certain team to be very effective. There's no just point loaning them out just for the for the sake of it. And last one for me. On, on paper, at least these next fixtures look pretty tough. Do you look at it like a block like that? Was that? No, I don't think there's any point. But I think you go to the next <laughs> game, mate. I, I, I do, I've, and uh, they're all tough games, aren't they? Any any team you play at professional level, whether it be League Two, League One, Championship, Premier League, they're all tough games. So we, we, we take the next one and then we, we tick that one off and go on.